Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to help you guys with my best subject knowledge and ideas. This video will be effective for aeronautical and aerospace engineering student, especially those who are preparing for competitive examination. Today, I will solve a problem based on oblique shock wave. Here is a problem. Consider a two degree half angle wedge in a supersonic flow at Mach 3 at standard sea level conditions if the shock wave angle on the wage is 36 degree the Mach number of the tangential component of the flow post shock is actually two decimal places so this is a question uh, they have asked in gate 2018 question number 46 so what are the things has been given in this problem they have given a half angle wage and which is of 20 degree and it causes an of uh, Mach number is 3 of a supersonic flow. If the angle that is beta value that is a shock angle of an wage is given as 36 that is a beta angle has been given and what they have asked the Mach number of a tangential component of an flow post shock so when we know there is a wedge and um, which is inclined it and 20 degree that is the upper surface of 20 that is theta is 20 degree and beta is 36 degree so you have to remember there will be a formation of oblique shock wave so you have to remember this diagram this is a Mach number one what is a Mach number one is given as 3 and theta value is given as 20 degree and beta value is given as 36 degree and what they have asked post shock of tangential component that means they have asked the m2 value so first you need to memorize this graph let's go to the solution here are the given data so for oblique shock wave Mach number of a tangential component ahead of the shock wave and behind the shock wave are same that means mt1 equals to mt2 that is Mach number ahead of the shock wave and the behind the shock wave are same so consider this a triangle we know this is a beta value what is 36 degree we know if you find this value then we can find this mt2 value also you can take any two of the triangle let me consider this triangle see i have taken this triangle how we have taken cos beta because cos beta means base by hypotenuse that is mt1 by m1 so from here what is the beta value is 36 so you just simplify that m1 cos beta equals to what is m1 3 into cos 36 we get 2.43 into decimal number so this i hope this uh, was clear it's a very simple until you know the graph you can't solve the problem so please focus on the graph to solve this problem and get uh, they ask a very fundamental question from in gate question paper or any competitive questions so please focus on the concept please focus on the fundamentals I hope this session was uh, useful for you guys. If you have further inquiry, you can drop down to my mail. And don't forget to share with your needy friends. Thank you for watching this video.